frequency test, the second test is chi-square test. It is used when the number of input is huge. So this is the question. Using chi-square test with alpha is equal to 0.05, check the uniformity of the given random numbers. So these are the numbers which are given here. The important part of the solution is the table which has these columns class n oi ei oi minus ei and oi minus ei the whole square and the last one is oi minus ei the whole square divided by ei ei is nothing but capital n by small n that is 30 by 10 which is 3 capital n is the number of random numbers there are 30 random numbers small n is the class that we are dividing those numbers into we are dividing it into 10 class 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 starting with 0 0.01 you are dividing it till 0 0.9 to 1 now that we have divided it into different range we have to count the number of random numbers that fall in that particular range for example if you take from 0 0.01 to 0 0.10 there are two values there are two random numbers that fall in that range so you write 2 here in the same way, if you consider the range 0 0.11 to 0 0.20, there are 1, 2, 3. So there are 3 random numbers. So by identifying the number of random numbers in each of these ranges, we get these numbers. And when you sum it up, you get back 30. Now EI is capital N by small n that is 30 by 10 you get 3 it remains the same in the whole column oi minus ei is subtracting this value from oi so you get 2 minus 3 is minus 1 3 minus 3 is 0 4 minus 3 is 1 and so on in the next column you find the square of oi minus ei so it becomes 1 0 1 and so on in the last column, you have to divide oi minus ei the whole square by ei value that is 3. So it becomes 1 by 3, 0, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 0 and so on. When you sum it up, you get 3.33. That is the d value. From the table, we could find the d alpha value to be 16.9 which is much greater than the d value so we can tell that d is less than d alpha the condition is true so the null hypothesis is accepted and the numbers are random 